Hello guys, welcome to Vince Blog. So for today's video, we are going to talk about the 8610 Tipsy module. So if you look at the back of the module, this is the actual pin connections for your 8610 module. And we're going to talk about all the important connections from this module. Like for example, your pin number 1 and 2, which is your DC supply. Your pin number 3 is your emergency stop. And the 4, 5 is your fuel and crank output. Pin number 6 is for your charging alternator monitoring. And your 7 to 14 is your configurable positive output. And over here is for our analog connections which is number 15 is our sensor common return or our body connections and and our 17 to 19 is our analog uh, configurable input and 20 to 22 is our CAN connections going to your ECU but this band can be changed according to your configurations Next is our magnetic pickup connections, ACU connections, the ACNET connections, MSC, and governor and EVR control connections. And here is our example on how to connect the ACNET connections. So here is a need a terminating resistor, which is uh, one hosts and uh, and the last unit should be fitted 120 ohms resistor as you can see in the drawing or our uh, diagram so next is our example on how to connect the EMC uh, connections here is also have one resistor from the first module and the, the last module is also have fitted 120 ohms resistor so here is our uh, wiring connections and how to terminate those connections correctly if you have some doubts or questions just comment down to our yt so i can resp respond what is the questions you are sent to me and i will reply to you next is our governor and evr control output this output voltage must be ranges to negative 5 to positive 10 volt dc so this one is around less than 1 millivolt same as the avr connection should be two wires terminated and it's also having the range voltage of plus minus 5 to 10 volt dc Next, what we are going to talk about is our breaker control output, which is volt-free contacts, and it is uh, pin number 40 and, and 41, which is, we can use this one as a breaker open, and 42 and 43, which is, uh, we can use this one as close uh, breaker control next is our voltage sensing which is very important to monitor the voltage which is in pin number 40 to 46 which is line 1 line 2 line 3 and 47 which is your neutral connections but I, by the way for more information our emergency stop uh, rated is only at 15 amperes and our dry contacts for our breaker control is having 8 amps at 250 volts easy next is our v2 which is what we call the bus sensing which is uh, very useful when you are using or you are in the paralleling uh, connections this one is used for monitoring your bus voltage either this one is a uh, dead bus or a live bus which is very important for a paralleling functions and here is our earth fault measuring connections either this one is restricted or unrestricted connections for your earth fault ct or current transformer ct and here is the example for our restricted earth ct connections which is connected to our uh, neutral connections 
as you can see in our diagram which is clearly seen the locations of our line 1 and our uh, earth city connections just follow this diagram in order to have the functional earth city connections and over here is our example of unrestricted earth connections for our city which is here you can see for our wiring diagram which is different from the restricted city connections this one just follow clearly what are the numbers and the connections so it will work properly as what you wanted to your connections and for the pin 59 and 70 which is your digital input which is negatively active when the switch is closed and here is our full connections for our diagrams in 8610 module wiring connections which is you can see there is a connections with your supply your sensor your voltage your ecu and your mc link and you can see all the connections over here and you can follow the connections if you are the one who do the wiring connections for this uh, module and in this part is our single line wiring diagram for our uh, paralleling or synchronizing connections which is you can see our MSC connections and our um, voltage sensing bus sensing and our breaker control as you can see we have uh, I circled it for our bus or our common bus where you can uh, fit your load connections and here is uh, 120 ohms end-to-end -end connection from your module so as you can see clearly and understand how the way the wiring and how the way its functions on this module perfectly